Today. Are you ready? Here we go. These are the continents of the world. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe and Antarctica, and Australia. So this is today's challenge. Watch me. These are the continents of the world. So was I doing the beat or the rhythm? If you're thinking I did the rhythm, you are correct. The beat is just steady. It's like doing the same thing over and over again. But with the rhythm, you can hear every word in my motion. So I was definitely doing the rhythm. You ready to try that with me? Now let's think about what strategies we'll need to use to be successful. I can think of two, maybe you can think of more. One might be to watch me. The other will definitely be to think the words in your head. Okay, so make sure you're thinking the words in your head. Here we go. These are the continents of the world. How did you do? All right, if you need to, roll it back again because I will be adding more challenges. We are going to review some of our rhythms today. And in order to do this, I have eight boxes up here. So, and each box stands for a beat, one beat. So there are a total eight beats up here. Now, way back in kindergarten, when we started learning notes, we started with this note. Does anybody remember its real name? Are you saying quarter note? So its real name is quarter note, but some of you may have accidentally said ta, and that's not entirely wrong. Ta is not its real name, but it is the sound we make when we are playing or clapping. We say ta. And ta completely fills the box because ta means the beat gets one sound. Remember, I said each box stands for one beat. Ta is one beat. So after we learned ta, we added this note. And I'm betting not too many of you know its real name. So let's start with what is its sound? And hopefully you're saying t t. All right, does anybody know its real name? Some of you may be saying eighth notes. Some of you may be saying two eighth notes because there are two of them there. I'm going to get to that in a moment. But TT or eighth notes fills up a beat because TT is two sounds to a beat. So I'm going to snap the beat with this hand and I'm going to tap the TTs or the rhythm with this hand. And you will see that for every one, beat I do, I will do two rhythms. So here I go. I hope I, I hope I don't mess this up. Beat, 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 beat. Did you see that? All right. So I said these are two eighth notes because this is what one eighth note looks like almost like a ta, but it has this fancy flag on it. So if this is TT, this is T. If this is one beat, this is only half a beat. So in order to fill the box, I need another one. So what are we gonna say when we see this? TT, 
Wait, 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 wait. This is TT and this is TT? Yes, it is. It's just a different way of writing the same thing. All right. So now we are left with this. And some of you might be saying, some of the older kids might be saying, that's tika tika. And I'm going to go, no. So think again, because the older kids, the fifth graders did learn about this. Some of you are going, oh, yes, I remember. Well, let's first go back to tika tika. In order for it to be tika tika, there would need to be another line drawn across here. Okay. So these are actually also eighth notes except instead of keeping them separated as we did here, or instead of joining or beaming them in groups of two here, we have beamed them in groups of four. So that's going to cover two beats, isn't it? So what are we going to say when we say it? Well, you guessed it. T, 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 T. Wow. So we got to fill these other boxes. So let me quick going to copy that and I think I'm going to paste it and move it here and I'm also going to paste it and move it here and then how about if we do this now can we say the rhythm and follow it here we go one two here we go ta ti 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 ta ti 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 ta so please try to remember this cuz this may may not all come up in today's lesson but it is going to come up in lessons to come all right thanks let's move on to the next thing hello musical globe trotters let's go on our next journey where are we going to today? Well, we're starting in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we are going to take an airplane flight all the way to Russia. How long will we be on the plane? Well, really, that depends on where you're going in Russia, because as you can see, it is a huge country. But I think I timed it from Philadelphia to Moscow, and the flight time, if we were to go with no stops, would be 10 hours. That's a long time. Let's learn a little bit about Russia. Russia is the largest country in the world. It occupies one-tenth of all of the land on Earth. As you would expect of such a big country, it has a varied landscape. That means there are all kinds of different environments in Russia. There are deserts and frozen coastlines. There are tall mountains and giant marches, marshes. Mount Elbrus is Europe's highest mountain and it is found in Russia. And Russia is home to the Volga River, which is 2,190 miles long. Russia is also home to Siberia. Siberia takes up 77% of the country. That is over three quarters of the country. But only 23% of Russians live in Siberia. That's only a quarter of its people live there. So why would the biggest part of Russia have so few people? Well, one reason might be that the winters get so cold, they can go to minus 13 degrees, which may be why I'm all bundled up. Russia is known for its thinkers and its artists. And when we say artists, we don't necessarily mean art room like Mrs. Brody. Artists can be dancers and musicians, as well as people who draw and paint and sculpt. Russia is also known for the Siberian tiger, which is on the endangered list. If you were to go to Russia, you might visit Moscow, the capital, and see Red Square, St. Basil's Cathedral, or the Kremlin. Or you might visit St. Petersburg, which is pictured here. And in St. Petersburg, you might visit the beautiful Winter Palace. St. Petersburg and Russia are known for its white nights, which is two weeks in June 
where the sun doesn't set. Wow. There are many famous composers from Russia. One is Peter Tchaikovsky, who you know as writing The Nutcracker. And another one is Sergei Prokofiev. And you have learned about Peter and the Wolf, so you are familiar with his work. And of course, the Russian ballet is so famous. An important instrument in Russia is the balalaika. The balalaika has three strings and a triangular body. It can be different sizes and pitches like the string instruments of the orchestra. So in our orchestra, the violin is small and plays higher and the bass is big and plays lower and you have the cello and the viola in between. The balalaika similarly comes in different sizes. It was first written about over 300 years ago, but we're not sure how long Russians have been playing the balalaika. Let's listen to its sound. love the sound of that balalaika. Our song today is called The Little Birch Tree. Of course, you're going to hear it sung in Russian. Let's first take a look at our notes, our rhythm notes, which start off kind of simple. We have quarter notes and eighth notes. So we have ti, 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 ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta. Then we have a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note, which we haven't learned, but its sound is tom t t t t t. Sorry, let me try that again. Tom t ta t t ta ta. Tom t ta t t ta ta. See the lovely birch in the meadow. Curly leaves all dancing when the wind blows. Luli lu when the wind blows. Luli lu when the wind blows. Are you ready to listen to it? Try again. Oh, 
was kind of a sad sounding song, wasn't it? Today you are going to learn how to play a part of this song in Chrome Music Lab. So I just want to show you what you need to know to kind of figure this out. And you may need to go back to this picture in our um, video to look at the music. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But I'm going to give you the starting pitch in Chrome Music Lab, the note that, re that represents space two. And if you're looking across the music, you see one, two, three, four notes all in space two. Okay, so you'll have four of the same notes. Before it goes from space two down to line two, that means it went down a step. You'll play one note that's down a step. Then it goes from line two to space one, down another step. And you'll play two of the same ones there. Then it goes from space one down to line one, down another step. You play one of that note. And then you go down yet another step. The next phrase is very similar. This is different because instead of having four notes the same, the first, second, and fourth are the same, but the, th the third note you have to kind of skip up to a higher note. Then the only other thing that is different is here you play one, here you play two. So if you're thinking, wait, I'm still not sure about that, watch, I'm about to demonstrate it for you. You can try to create this song, The Birch Tree, on Chrome Song Maker. Song Maker does have limitations because it doesn't do rhythms in a very easy way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You start, you see this darker blue line, start three boxes above, it will be yellow. And every box is like doing a TT. So if you follow the contour in the music, and then it goes down to a ta. And the way I have to do that is click a box and leave one empty. Then back to TTs. Then another ta, so I have to leave a box empty. Leave a box empty. And if you remember, the melody goes back up. And it goes a little higher here. We have a ta. So we leave a blank box and another ta. So we leave a blank box. And then I play it. Yeah, and there we go. I can change the tempo which is the speed. I can change the instrument. If I really want to have fun, I can add some drums under it, or I can add some harmony under it. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but just so you hear it a little bit. So you heard there was two notes happening at once. And then if you're done and you want to share it, I would think the best way is to click save, copy the link, and then paste it in the private message for this assignment. And the way you paste most easily is to hold down the control button and then press the letter V on your keyboard. Okay, I hope you enjoy trying this. And I hope you enjoyed visiting Russia. Bye now. Press Shay.